sip of water. And we're gonna start with our warm up. <clears throat> All right, and then we'll get little weights and a mat out if you guys have that nearby your water nearby, all that good stuff. Let's just start with arm circles just to get loosened up here. Ooh, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna go backwards. Big circles here, everybody. Good, yeah, I was so distracted by the babies. I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot to send out the Zoom link, but I'm glad you guys were able to make it. I'm sorry I sent it out so late. Let's go forwards. Good. Uh, all right, shake it out. We're gonna go into high knees, but a little bit differently. So I'm gonna tilt the screen now so you can see. So instead of just high knees here, what we wanna do is a toe point when we do our high knees. So point your toes down and really bring them up high. And instead of going for speed here, let's go for form and posture. So keeping our shoulders back, head up, really working on those high knees with the point of the toe. And it's almost like you bring it out to the side a little bit. So not directly here, a little bit out to the side and point the toe. Like that. There we go. I don't know about you all, but I am Glad to see the sun a little bit. We have a lot of rain lately. Yes. Yeah. All right, shake it out. Let's go into modified jumping jacks here. So just not engaging the lower body yet, just kind of back and forth stretching along our side, getting our range of motion in there. Right now we'll involve our lower body, stepping out. Good. And Susan, I saw your email last week about the class. I'm glad I had the alerts on my phone because I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot to tell everybody. That was so sweet of you to answer on your vacation though. Oh, it was no trouble. I have it on my phone. So I just need those quick and easy. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and get started with our strengthening. So I'm gonna grab, let's see, I'm gonna grab three pound weights. And we're gonna go back into those shoulder circles that we did earlier, but now with weights, threes might be a, ooh, those are a little bit too much. For me, I'm gonna go down to the twos. All right, so this is much better. We're gonna go back into those shoulder circles, but again, they're weighted now. Let's keep them a little bit smaller. Going backwards. And let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. Again, let's go backwards. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna do one more set. Ready, third set. Let's go backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, shake it out. All right, I'm gonna set these down and grab a little bit heavier weight. Going for four pounds. We're gonna do one that we've done before where our arms are held up right here and we're gonna bicep curl towards our face. We're working on our shoulder muscles and our bicep. Oh, we got somebody coming in. Oh, Cynthia. There she is. Make sure she gets in, okay? Whoop. All right, Cynthia's coming in. Hopefully she'll pop up soon. All right, so here we go for three sets of 10, arms up, curl towards your face. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're gonna go for two more sets. This, oh, 
She's trying to let's see. I think Cynthia's having. Okay. All right. Set number two. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So those are little. We're gonna do one more set. That's a little movement. That's very effective. All right. It still says that Cynthia's joining. I don't know. I think she might be having some computer trouble. All right, ready, last set. Let's go. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Let's shake it out. And now we've got overhead press. So arms out to the side and pressing overhead. But hold that thought. Before we go any further, I'm gonna do the um, next couple upper body exercises on our knees. So that will help engage our core a little bit more when we're on our knees. Um, if it bothers your knees to be in that position, just keep standing, okay? But I'm gonna grab a mat, kind of fold it in half. I always see people do this and I never really knew why but one of the other therapists told me that it engages, engages your core more when you're on your knees like this so you just come up to your knees just like this there's Cynthia she made me. hi Cynthia hello in a space today I don't think I'll be able to get you're breaking up a little bit, Cynthia. Oh, okay. Well, join us if you can. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, guys. So on our knees, just like this, we're going to do overhead press and really see, see what you guys think about the core when you're on your knees like this. See if you can feel it engage a little bit more. All right, ready? Let's go for one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna go for two more sets of ten. Ready up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so I do feel it. I feel, um, I think you're just having to stabilize yourself a little bit more when you're on your knees. So um, you have to engage your core to keep you stable. All right, last set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, shake it out. All right, let's see. Let's bring our arms like this now, still staying on your knees if that's comfortable. And we're gonna come out to the side, really working our rotator cuff muscles, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right? Two more sets of 10. And one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One more set. Arms up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, stay on your knees if it's comfortable. The next one, I'm gonna grab smaller weights. And what we're gonna do here, it's gonna be similar if you've um, done um, exercises with us here in the clinic. We do a stretch a lot of times called the teapot. This time we're gonna do it for strength. So not so much stretching, we're gonna be doing it for strengthening of the shoulders. And what we do is we come over like we're stretching along here and then come down and really bring 
that shoulder blade down and in when you bring that arm down. Try to feel that shoulder blade back here. Pull down and in. Okay? So let's reach over. Pull down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Other side, ready, and one, two. Remember the shoulder blade? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna challenge myself and try the heavier weight. Here we go, stretching over and down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Other side, ready, up and stretch over and pull down. One, two, bring that shoulder blade in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. All right. Let's do one more um, upper body exercise. And what we want to do here, we've done these before. So our palms are out like this, uh, facing the ceiling, and we bring it in just like this and in. Okay? So let's go for um, two sets of 10 on this. So ready? We're out like this, like a W. We bring it in for one, two, very slow and controlled, three, Four, five, woo, six, seven, eight, oh my gosh, nine, <laughs> ten. Wow, that was a good one. I'm gonna, for the next set, I'm gonna go down to the lighter weights. Oh, because I was losing form on that one. All right, ready? Last set of ten. W's out to the side and bring it in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ooh, nine, <laughs> ten. Oh my goodness. Great job, guys. That was a tough one. All right, really working yes. on our shoulders today. I'm going to get a drink of water. Okay, all right, let's throw a little bit of cardio in there before we move on to lower body. All right, so get your sip of water. We're gonna get our heart rates going, work our largest muscle, our most important muscle, our heart. Okay, so let's just start. We're gonna march in place. And then we're going to take it into a light jog. So if the jogging does not work for you, if it hurts your joints or your knees anywhere, just keep it here at this pace, okay? Let's take it up a notch, pick up the speed, ready, and here we go. We're going to jog in place. Right, I'm watching the clock. Let's see if we can go for one minute jogging in place. Get your arms going too. Do some deep breathing here. Remember, keep it at your own pace, whatever pace that is. Ooh, I just I always have my lunch right before this. I can always feel my Me lunch too. around my tummy. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best timing. All right, almost there, guys. We've almost made it to a minute. All right, good job. 
All right, let's take it down and go back into our marches. All right, for the next cardio exercise, we have jump squats. Um, but to keep this low impact, for everyone, everyone that wants to keep it low impact, what we'll do is go down into a squat and then up on our toes versus down and up. Okay, so whichever version you want to try, squat and then up on the toes or squat and jump, okay? Those two options are available for you. Let's go for one minute, go your own pace and three, two, and one. Here we go. Jump squats, whichever version that you would like to do. Good job. I see you, Bill, throwing in those arms overhead. That's great. A little extra so you guys can do that with Bill if you like. And you can see these are little squats, so we're not sinking way down. Just getting our heart rates going. Jumping or coming up on our toes. Good job, everybody. See, almost there. Woo! Woo. Good job, everybody. <laughs> almost there. About 10 more seconds. I'm going to come up on my toes for the last few. Bring my heart rate down slowly. Woo. All right, good job. Get you some water. We've got uh, just one more cardio. Okay. And what that is gonna be is quick feet. So just moving our, up on our toes really quickly, okay? And let's even with this quick feet, if you have space in your house to move side to side, or you go forward back, that's fine too. Or you can stay stationary, however you want to do it. Let's get going in three, two, and one. Just quick feet right here. You go side to side. I've got lots of space here. You go all over. But the key is to keep moving. You can get your arms involved. If you want, just keep those legs moving. Get that heart rate up. I think it was a couple weeks ago, right before vacation, that we did a routine that had a lot of cardio in it, and we burned a lot of more calories than we usually do. So that's good. And we'll do the same today. Great job, we're almost there. Arms overhead if you wish. Good job, you can do a little punches. You want to keep moving. I see you, Bill, over side to side. That's good. All right, taking it down. Woo, we've got lower body next. All right, so for lower body, when you guys are ready, catch your breath, um, we're going to go into curtsy lunge. So just like this, arms out to the side if you wish, just back and forth, okay? So let's go for three sets of 10 on this. We get started in three, two, and one. We go for one, one, two, and two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Great job. We have two more sets of those. Shake it out. All right, ready for set number two? Let's get started. Ready? One, and one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, nine, 10, and 10. Great job, everybody. All right. So now I said three sets, but we have several more uh, lower body exercises. So we may skip that last set. Um, we may come back to it if we have enough time. But let's go ahead and move on. All right, we wanna do squat pulses with a bicep curl. So we're gonna go into a wide base squat and we're gonna hold it there. We're gonna pulse up and down with a little curl. So see how I'm not coming all the way up? Just a little pulse and at the top, I'm curling the bicep, okay? So let's get started in three, two, and one squat down and up. Pulse for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, two more sets. It is really hot in here. I'm gonna turn these fans on. Yesterday, the air was totally off. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, oh there goes my paper, my cheat sheet. Okay, back to it. Here we go for squat pulse. So squat down. Don't come all the way up. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jumping right into set number three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job, everybody. Moving on to the next one. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Okay. So the next one, I'm gonna grab a support surface. So this chair. And what we're gonna do is one that we've done before is just kicking out to the side, okay? So you want to create a slight bend in the standing leg. The other leg just goes out to the side, working the side of our glute here, okay? If you want to challenge yourself and not use any support, go for it. And you can bring your other arm out to the side just like this, okay? All right, I like to have something nearby just in case. Ready? Great slight bend in the right leg. Left leg goes out and kick out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and 10. Let's switch sides. Notice how I'm not leaning way far over. It's not about range of motion. It's just about doing the movement, okay? Ready, let's keep that good posture. Stand up nice and tall. Here we go, slight bend in the left leg. Right leg straight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. My glutes are already kicked in and on fire. So that's good. Ready? And <laughs> Valerie's laughing at me. <laughs> oh, okay. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch over. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ah. Okay, let's do one more set on each leg. You're not getting dizzy by going back and forth so much. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and 10. So for those of you who are really, you know, feeling like you've progressed really well, um, one thing you can invest in are some ankle weights. We have some here. 
Um, but you can do a lot of the exercises we do with that, just a little weight on, just to up, up it a little bit, challenge yourself. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, great job. So you should be feeling that right in the side and towards the back as well. We've got, let's see, one more um, lower body exercise that you may need your support surface for. I'm gonna keep mine out just in case. Well, we've done this one before as well, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna come into a lunge. Then you're going to bring that back leg forward and hit your hands on your knee. So it's backward lunge into a front knee raise, okay? That's what we'll call it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with the right leg first. Here we go, backwards for one, and slap the knee. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So if that bothered your knees, uh, on the next set, let's just, just hang on to the um, support surface a little bit more and keep them a little bit lower. So you wouldn't have to lunge down as far and you can bring your knee up just a little bit less, okay? So decrease the height of that and decrease the amount that you're lunging when you go down. All right, I'm gonna switch sides. Let's see, now we need to go back to the left leg. So here we go, left leg goes back, bring it forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everybody. So that really challenges our balance. Think about how long we're staying on that one leg. So that's great. You guys are doing. So, so well. All right, let's take our right leg back again. Ready, here we go, down. One, Woo. two, three, four, five, six, seven, ah, eight, nine, one more, 10. Ooh. I'm a little all over the place. It helps to find a focal point, which I was looking at the computer that did not help. I look up and find a focal point, something stationary. Here we go. Left leg goes back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, let's shake it out. Grab a sip of water. I'm so thirsty today. Okay. So, how are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. Okay, let's throw in a little bit more cardio. I'm checking the time. We're right on track. I'm gonna get these out of the way because we're gonna shuffle side to side um, as if we were on defense in a basketball game. So we're gonna be down in this position. We're gonna shuffle, 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 and just back and forth, right there on your computer screen. Yep, and just go back and forth. We're gonna do that for one minute. Let's get started in three, two, and one. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Squat down just to your comfort level so you can bring it up to a little bit more standing. If you need to take a break, that's totally fine. Just wherever you feel comfortable and at your own pace. Do, 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 do. So we're getting our arms working, engage your core. I see you, Marlena. There, there she is. <laughs> Yay. Good job, everybody. Good job, Laura. Woohoo! 
All right. And you could, let's say, act like you're passing the ball to your partner. Pass. Good job. We're almost there, about 10 more seconds. Let's finish strong with this exercise. We're not totally done yet. All right, almost there, one more. All right, good job, everybody. Let's keep that cardio going by going into our jumping jacks. Keep it here if you want a low impact, but if you want to take it up a notch, let's take it full out, okay? Woo. I don't know why I chose this jumping exercise. My tummy. Oh, it's not thanking me right now. Okay, all good. Getting our heart rates up there, mixed in with some strengthening. We're hitting all those, all the spots today. Cardiovascular health, bone health, muscle health, all good things. All right, I'm gonna take it down. Oh. Modified. All right. Okay, good job everybody. Good little burst of cardio there. We have core next, okay? Hmm. So, I'm gonna grab our mat, chair out of the way. If you guys can see, all right, should be good there. Okay, so the first core exercise we have are slow mountain climbers. So, what that looks like is you're up on your uh, hands and feet like a plate position. We bring one knee in, put it back. Other knee in, put it back, okay? So a lot of times mountain climbers are usually more fast than this, but we're gonna take it a little bit slower, okay? I'm gonna go for 10. All right, everybody. Let's come up on our uh, feet and our hands if you can. If not, you can always keep it here on your knees and your hands and do this number, okay? So whatever suits you, here we go. In three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's take it down. Let's go into a child's pose. Let our wrists take a break. Stretch it out. All right, let's do that again. Up on your feet and your hands. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it back down in child's pose. Catch your breath. Roll out your wrist. One more time. Up on our toes. Outstretched arm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Child's pose, one last time. All right. Now we want to come into everybody's favorite, the half roll down. Oh. Oh. All right. So we're in this position. Our feet are kissing, our knees are kissing, and our hands are behind our knees right here. Not grabbing a hold like a death grip, just slightly behind, barely touching. And what we're gonna do, ooh, excuse me. I'm telling you I should not eat lunch right before this. We are gonna come into a nice tall stance here. Like there's a string on top of our head pulling us up high. And then we're gonna curve out our abdomen like a C, like this. And we lower, 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 just two times. So 
wherever that is for you, wherever you feel comfortable, and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and then one, and we come up like there's that string on our belly button pulling us forward. So let's try three more of those. Ready? And up tall. And C curve. Good job. Hold where you can. And let's bring your arms out and down. Out and down. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring it up. Great job, everybody. Okay, let's try one more time. So ready. Nice and tall. And make that C curve with your belly. And hold. And let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one. And again for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Great job, everybody. That's awesome. All right. So we're going to go back into that plank position. Um, you don't have to be on outstretched hands. You can be on your forearms and on your toes, however you wish. But what we're going to do is our hip dips. So actually, you know, I think these are better on your forearms if you, yeah, these are, these are much better on your forearms. And what we're going to do is dip our hip to the side and to the other side. So really working our obliques here, the sides of our abdomen. All right, let's go for 10. Ready? In three, two, one. Here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take it into a good child pose. Awesome, let's do one more set of 10. And then we are done. You guys have done so, so well. All right, here we go. Up on the toes and forearms, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Awesome. All right. Oh, great job, everybody. Let's give a nice little hug. So bring our knees into our chest. Oh, a little hug there. Good job. Let's get a little stretch for our glutes. So you're going to bring one knee over the other. And bring that knee that's on top into the opposite shoulder. Awesome job, everybody. We did. Let's see, it's been 38 minutes. <laughs> Good job. And we did, let's see, it says 235 calories. How much we burned. So that's good. We did that little cardio. Great job. Oh. All right, everybody. So thanks for meeting me here again. And I know last week we missed, but I'm glad everybody was able to come back. That's great. I was afraid nobody would, but they did. You guys really did do like this class. <laughs> Yay, I do too. Oh, let me, I'm going to stop recording.